Hi guys, it's Fiona from Jiggy Wigglers again, and today I've got my little helper Hunter here, my little boy, and he's going to help us make our shaker all ready for Friday when we join in with Louisa with her online Jiggy session to go into Toronto. Now, I tried to get the music to play on here, but that was far too technical for me, so we can't have that on. So we're just going to make the shaker on its own, okay? So Hunter, what do we need to make our shaker? A bottle of some rocks and stickers. A bottle, some rocks, and some stickers. And a sharpie. And a sharpie. So, adults, you do need to supervise the children, obviously, with this, because there's the lid on the bottle and the stones or anything small that you're putting inside. So, please supervise them because we don't want any accidents, obviously. Right, so, Hunter, take the lid off the bottle for me, please. So, we're going to take the lid off our bottle like this. That's it. And you need to have given it a wash first of all, so it's all nice and clean inside, okay? So we've got our bottle, and then we're going to put some of the rocks that you've collected from your garden, or your rice, or your beans, or I did think little bits of Lego. They'd be quite good to go in there. They make a good sound, and you can always take them out after we've finished and put them back in your Lego box. So Hunter's going to put some of the stones in there for us, okay? So Hunter, show everybody what we're going to do. So you're going to put quite a lot of stone or whatever you've got to put in there because you want to make it a really good shaker. So when we're shaking to the bottom, shaking to the top, shaking round and round and round and shaking till we stop, it's going to have some really good loud shaking sounds you want to have up from our shakers, okay? So you're going to put lots and lots in there. Okay. Good job, Hunter. be enough? One more. One more. That's it. Right, so give it a little rattle, see what sort of sound it makes. Oh, I think that's quite a good shaky sound, don't you? Yeah? Right, so we need to put our lid back on. So can you find the lid? That's a good boy. And screw it on nice and tightly, because we don't want those stones coming out when we're shaking. Sit nice and tight. Have you done it? That's a good boy. Well done. And we also said on Monday that we're going to need a little bit of sellotape. So sellotape, masking tape, anything like that. And we're going to put that round the top of the bottle like this, just to stop the lid coming off. We want to keep it all nice and safe in there. Okay, so we're going to wrap that around the lid. So it's all nice and safe and the lid can't come off. Okay, just like that. Got our sellotape in there, got our stones in the bottom going to be good. So I think we need to decorate the outside because it's a bit plain at the moment, isn't it? So if you've had a rummage in your craft drawers and cupboards and bedrooms and you found some nice stickers that you've got, you can stick those onto the outside to make it nice. So Hunter's got some stickers here. And he's, what are they, superheroes? I think they're superhero ones. Hold them up so people can see them. That's it, he's got his superhero stickers there, good boy. So he's going to choose some of those to stick on the outside of his shaker so it's all fancy. So which ones are you going to put on, Hunter? That one? You might peel that one off then. Yeah. Oh, well done. There we go. That one. So Hunter went off to big school in September, but at the moment he's not at school, he's at home with his brothers. So we've been doing all of our learning at home this week. So that's been fun. Another big superhero one. Oops. Okay, where should we put that one on there? So you can put as many stickers on your shakers as you would like to. If you just want to put a couple on, that's fine. Or if you want to put lots and lots on and cover it in stickers, that is entirely up to you. You can put whatever you like on there. So we've also got our Sharpie here as well, because these are good for writing on things like bottles, because they don't come off. So what should we write on our shaker? 
You mm -hmm. put your name on there. Okay. You want to write it? So Punter's going to write his name. He's going to try and write it at the top. Boy. Should we show everyone? That's it. Look. So he's written his name on there as well. Just about to see it on there, I think. That's it. So I think Hunter will probably put some more stickers on there. So it's all nice and ready for Friday. And like I said, you put as many stickers on there if you want. If you've got some paint, you could paint your bottle if you want to. Or if you've got any nice, you can get those little gem stickers. They're always nice, aren't they? The little diamonds, they would look nice on there. Or whatever you've got, just stick it on there to make it all nice and fancy. So it's all ready for your Jimmy session, session with Louisa on Friday, okay? I'm not sure what time she's going to post the video yet, but it will be on there at some point on Friday. So be ready for that. And like I said the other day, you can watch the video at any time. You don't have to tune in at a certain time of day. And you can watch it over and over again if you want to as well. All right? Good job, Hunter. So if you're going to give it a shake, so we give it a test. That's it. So can you shake it up high? Down low? Shake it round around like that? That's it. Perfect. So it's all ready for Friday. So enjoy making your shakers, guys. And do remember, like I've said, tape round the top so it keeps all those stones and things in and make sure that lid is on nice and tight. Get your grown-ups to do that for you, okay? And enjoy your session with Louisa on Friday. I'll be back next week on Monday to tell you what we're going to make on Wednesday. So that will give you a couple of days to get all your bits and bobs together, okay? So have a good week. Enjoy, Louisa, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Say bye-bye, Hunter. Bye.